This video will discuss and demonstrate freeform carving with floral foam. First, avoid inhaling dust from floral foam by ensuring proper ventilation and wearing a mask. Safety glasses are also recommended to prevent eye irritation. Many tools can be used to carve floral foam, including serrated plastic knives, smooth-edged fettling knives, loop or ribbon tools, which are ceramic tools, and riffler rasp tools. Fingers and sandpaper can also be used to increase the smoothness and shape the foam. When learning to carve a subtractive sculpture with a new medium, I recommend taking a small portion of your medium to work with first as practice. Knives are best to start with to begin removing larger areas. This is a freeform sculpture, which means I have no sketch or plan in mind when I begin sculpting. My goal is to alter all edges and sides of the block so that I create a sculpture that is in the round. I also want to make sure that I create at least one opening or hole that goes all the way through the sculpture. And I would like my sculpture to have the ability to stand up. Ceramic loop or ribbon tools are excellent for removing medium-sized areas. In fact, this is my favorite tool to carve with. Don't be afraid to use your fingers to sculpt and smooth too. The floral foam is very soft and very easy to mold. As you can see, a lot of dust will form. Try to move your dust into a pile on your workspace surface, either be working on newspaper or on a plastic tray that can be taken to a garbage can for disposal. As you carve, remove the material slowly. I'm trying to create at least one opening, but I'm doing it gradually so that I don't break my sculpture in half. It is natural to spend more time on one side at first, but as soon as possible, begin to turn your block so that you spend equal amounts of time carving into all sides of your sculpture. To make your sculpture in the round, try bringing the hills and valleys that you carve into one side around your form. This will really help bring the eye of the viewer around your entire sculpture. Take a moment to watch as I continue to use the loop tool to carve lines which create valleys into all sides of the sculpture. Rifflers and rasp tools are great for sanding aggressively. These tools have teeth that are shaped like tiny mountain peaks and they cut and sculpt. The pointed ends of the rifflers cut nicely too and can be used to carve in thinner lines. Just be aware that the riffler and rasp tools do produce more dust than the loop tools or the knives. As you add greater detail to your sculpture, consider making additional holes or openings. In addition, having a variety of levels of relief or height will add more interest to your sculpture. Work your fingers over your sculpture to add increased smoothness or take a tool and carve in some new textures. And finally, Try to make your sculpture stand up on one side. You may need to flatten out one side to help it to stand. Carving floral foam is so much fun, and with the proper safety precautions taken, it can be done by people of any age and experience level.